This is Carrie Ann Brown from Carrie Ann Brown Music Promotions. And guess who I'm going to be interviewing today for everyone's pleasure. Guess who it is, people? Goldy Bop, 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 Bop. He's here in New York City right here. Say hi to the people, Goldy Bop. I'm New York. I'm Miami. I'm a tough fuck. I'm American. <laughs> you hear that Goldy Bop is here, as you all can see, live on live and in living color right here in New York City. He gave us a very surprising appearance recently, this past Sunday, at Grace Jerk Fest here in New York. So it is my pleasure to meet you, Goliba. I must say that first. I must have big up yourself. And the surprise that you gave us on Sunday was like amazing. Because first of all, no one expected you to be there. And you came and you had all your fans going crazy for even the media personnel as well. So I want to big you up and say welcome to New York City. And I just want you to let the fans know like how you feel that now you're in New York above all the controversy that was going on in the newspapers and all these things. Well, the people in America know that Gullibab will have to be here. Not because the visa may step back a little, right. but to me, no say the president into America gonna upset me in this country. Of course, I never really feel no way because I know I'm gonna be here. Exactly. And I just give the people in my face a big surprise. That surprise was so big, it bigger than a tower. Yeah, <laughs> you get that yeah, people? you know. Exactly. So can you tell us like how do you feel now that you have accomplished your musical dreams from last year up until now? Like how do you feel like about your accomplishments so far? I'm feeling so good in about no matter how me feel about the dream that come to, I'm still pinching myself. Because I just cannot believe that I would reach so far in my music career. After over 30 years in the business, yes. yeah. sit down 20 years, mm -hmm. we don't go into a studio, we don't go on a stage, and in the space of one month, the career starts, and before that month done, a texting. Yes. And even people from a country in Jamaica say, oh, Gullibop, you know I'm going to, you can't pass jammer, you can't go sting. But it was so a surprise. Yeah. I passed jammer. Reached to the airport, around five miles from Jamerl to the airport are ten miles. So far, the airport is from Jamerl, and I'm saying I can't pass Jamerl, I'm pass Jamerl and reach to the airport. And it's so surprise again. I, I live from the airport to England. No man on the face of the earth cannot walk from Jamaica to England. So all them say me now have no way I'm going to reach England. Exactly. And here's another bigger surprise. I leave England and go to Europe, tour the whole of Europe. Go to German, go to Greece. Mm -hmm. Nobody can walk by them places. Even if they send to Superman, he can't fly go so far in the time. True, true. In a drop out of the sky. True. Yeah. So you, uh, so you, you can tell, say to the fans then that you overcome all the rumors, all the negativity, and now you are at a good place in music, right? Yeah, man, because when we're doing the music right now, you know, you have a skill and lucky. I don't hype on myself and show up on myself and boast and say, Oh, go live up at this and go live up reach far. But I tell you the truth, this is why I'm reaching the music right now. With the people, all of the people come together and put me where I'm right now. Right now, I have to give thanks and praise to you. everybody in the world. America, England, Canada, all of the small islands, them. I respect for where they put me. Right, right. Because the people make this possible for me. They make me reach me reach right now. Exactly. So, you have some people on the street that say, Golly Bob, you cannot take picture with so much people. Me said me can if me cannot take picture with so many people, I them put more me there. Exactly. So I them have to continue to put more me there. Every picture I take with somebody, you know, then put it up on the Instagram, you know, and people look and see it and say, what? Golly Bob, take picture with that person. Golly Bob, take picture with that person. Me take picture with everybody, all madman. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. So what would you what would be your advice to those upcoming artists? You know that the young ones that sit sitting at home and saying, Well, I wonder if I can be a next be like Golly Bop. I wonder if I can do it in this industry. What advice would you have to say to those upcoming Um artists? what advice you have to give them? It cannot be like Golly Bop. 
them have to be like themselves. And first of all, you got to do what you have to do. Because first of all, the main point in it, you can't hide on the people. Then. You can't say no one take picture with people. You can't come with no help a gun shown and a gun song for each of me reach. And when you make the money, you can't be selfish and keep it to yourself. You have to share it with the poor. You have to give people all the rich and hear your money to them. <laughs> yeah, man. Right, right. You pass a man that's a suffer. Nobody go on like you, I go see the man and then turn your head on the so. Don't see him on the right and take it on the left. Right. When you call, you don't play like you're deaf. Exactly. Just give and you will get. Exactly. Because if I give you $10,000 this morning, by midday, I make back $30,000. That means I make 20 for the 10 when we give away. So I make up my 10 and make 20 on it. So, other way that I live, another way that I go to, to help people. Right, right. So, okay, so, you, so can you um, say that you have not changed? No, I'm not changed. Change. You're still the same person you were before, right. and you're going to still be the same person you are right now. Right now. Because you know why I cannot change? If you get a check from every day, if you get a check from Goliba Panic Bunks, it cannot change. That's why I'm just like a bunks check. I just cannot change. Cannot change. Right. So can you tell the people like where in Jamaica you're from, like where you grew up? Yeah, you know, I'm born at Labor Ward, Jubilee Hospital, downtown public hospital. And I grew up in Southside, 22 Lad Lane, and from 22 Lad Lane to Grand Spen to King Western. And I'm a tough fuck, we grew up in the whole of Jamaica because I never stay in my house. Because I go to Jungle, Rima Garden, you know? Yeah. I go to Rockford, I go to Bobawa Banks, I go to Centre Mat, I go to Mandeville, I go to Portland, I go to the, four, the 15 parish in Jamaica. People may tell us it's 14 parish in Jamaica. No, it's 15 parish in Jamaica. <laughs> you yeah, Port Royal. Port Royal. And it sink, but it don't sink all the way. A piece still over there. So it's still cold. That's why there's a king some Port Royal. Yes. Yeah, 15 parishes. In true, Jamaica. True, true. So don't let nobody tell you that it's 14 parts in Jamaica. 15. I look at my Canada one here in Goat Island. <laughs> a 16 is have a right hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's on your agenda for the rest of your New York City trip? Yeah, does in that sitting, help out all who want help. If somebody wants a show, link every day. If you can't get to every day, you link Chin. Back in Jamaica. Back in Jamaica. Yeah, because you just look on the Instagram, you, you can see where to find us. Yeah. Just type in Golibap 1000. Every day can tell you how to get to his okay. website. Yeah. And booking okay, at everydpromotions.com. It will be it will recorded. It's not seen it, but it will be recorded. Booking at everydpromotions.com. Okay. So um any plans? Any plans on giving back or or helping the upcoming artists in Jamaica, for example, artists who were in your position a few years ago? Do, do you plan on helping other artists in, that were in your position? Yeah, because I'm the only artist in Jamaica. No artist in Jamaica. I'm not biased, I'm not hype, I'm not show up. No artist in Jamaica no do with me. Mm -hmm. you see, when me boss, before me even, Leave from downtown and reach half a tree before me reach half a tree. No. Me help more than 10 artists. No. Me are the only artist in Jamaica. Yeah. The combination song with the most young artists and give them a go. We go to England, we do plenty of combination of people in England. We go to Canada, we do combination of people in Canada. And we come to America and I go do combination with people in America. In Jamaica, we do combination with plenty of artists, plenty of artists, even artists. Go and double it. Me do double it. An artist splice it. Wow. And sing with me like a me and them are the song. I mean, I tell them about no lie and about so. Me right. so glad for him. Right, right. Me do um, music for some producer in Jamaica. And them sell the song to other DJ and splice other right. DJ upon it. And me don't vex. Me glad to see him try something too. So, me are the only artist who sure of myself say. No liar behind my thing, no suing behind my thing. Any artist, 
She wanna make sure I want to splice it and put a vice on it and feel the Indian bus and then try it and work. Go about now and sue you. Because I know where I come from, you know. Right. I come from the gully. And some people say from the gully to the money. So one thing I tell the people I say, just stay focused, man. Love people and so far you reach. Exactly. Okay, well it was nice interviewing you today. And um, can you just give a big quick up to Kerry and Brown Music Promotions? Yeah, I'm mean, a big up Kerry and Brown Music Promotion. Cause these people are people that walk around and search for the non-talent and make them be some talent. And these people walk around and look for the youth that under the table and take them from under the table and put them on the table. These people are who walk around and look for the people in the darkness you can't see. You're blind when you're in the darkness, you know, and put in a light and make you start to see. So, Kerry and Brown, she have my mama name and plenty brown in my family back in Jamaica. So look, we are blood. Yes. <laughs> and I know two your blood makes you search me and I interview me. So I try to search plenty other young artists. So young artists out there, don't give up. If you try to climb a tree and it's simple, you know you do. Go in on some sand and some dirt and rub up the dirt and put your foot and start climbing it and you get a little grip and you will reach to the top. And when you reach to the top, no matter look down and see a man down there want to reach up there, you know, stretch on a rope and give him an all him up. You know. Yeah, all him up. Although when I'm in the gully, them grease the head of the gully. And when I hold on on it, we climb up and slide off. People always stand up here, so when they see me hand up here, and I try to reach out and kick me off. I say, they kick me off, I can't come out, I've been doing it for years and years and years. And one day, God has passed and see me. And grab me, God has no simple. And all me out of the gully, and I look back in the gully, and God said, don't look back. Because I ain't going back to that gully. And from I leave out of the gully, you know, for me, you know, New York. New York City. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Golly Bob, for such a great interview again. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you, New York. Love you.